as surviving victims of Haiti's massive earthquake lay sick and injured in makeshift hospitals, the Haitian government now says the quake killed 150,000. These parents are searching for their son's body. Haiti's government called off search and rescue operations on Friday. He is our firstborn, our flesh and blood. We want to bury him, not have him rot under the rubble. On Monday, young men and boys broke into deserted shops to take what was salvageable from the debris. Many people are desperate. Our house is crumbled. No, 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 I stay. No, we are no, hungry I stay. and um, there's nothing to do. We found this, we take it. Even many wealthy Haitians are rebuilding crumbled lives. They call this earthquake the most democratic event that ever happened in the history of Haiti. Haitian Prime Minister Jean-Max Bellerive told an international meeting of foreign ministers in Montreal, Canada Monday that he's ready to lead efforts to rebuild his country. We are fully conscious that the, the prime responsibility of our future uh, lay on the land, uh, hands of the Haitian government and the Haitian people. Meanwhile, in Brussels, European Union foreign ministers arrived for their own set of talks. They plan to send a police force to Haiti to help aid reach those who need it. Money is not enough. I believe we have to do something concrete to restore security in Haiti. In Britain, a seven-year-old boy has launched his own relief campaign. I saw the pictures on the TV and I didn't really like what happened. Charlie Simpson and his parents say he has raised tens of thousands of dollars riding a bike around his local park in London. He had hoped to raise about $800 and was stunned when the number kept rising. Laurel Bowman, VOA News, Washington.